It used to be a coastal artillery fort and now it's a museum. So it's had quite the transformation Tuesday. <laughs> do something a little different. We are heading to St. George's, which is another area of the island. We've heard it has a little bit more of a chill vibe, so we're excited to check that out. It's about a 45 minute to an hour bus ride from Hamilton. So once we arrive in St. George's, we are going to be stopping at Wahoo's, which was recommended by our Airbnb host, who of course is a local. And then we are going to be taking a nice long hike about uh, 20 minutes away from the restaurant uh, or downtown St. George into Tobacco Bay Beach. It's a smaller low-key beach than you saw in our other video, Horseshoe Bay Beach, uh, but still it's gonna be beautiful. And then after that, we are going to check out Fort St. Catharines, which is like this old, deserted, beautiful location with a bunch of different cannonballs. You'll we'll have to see it coming up, because I don't know too much about it yet. favorites and 95% of the stuff on the menu is seafood so if you want seafood uh, this is the spot and if you want burgers and that's what we both got. The one thing on the menu that wasn't seafood was the burgers and they're loaded with bacon, cheese and a whole bunch of other good stuff. Make sure to grab a table right on the water. You can toss some fries over the edge and you'll have these big rainbow parrot fish which are a protected fish in Bermuda swim right up and they are so cool. which is about a 15 minute walk from St. George Town Hall. It's up a pretty big hill. We had someone offer us a ride and we've noticed throughout our time here in Bermuda that everyone has been so nice offering up tips, tricks, places to go, places to eat, where not to go. It's been incredible. Tobacco Bay Beach is a lot smaller, I'd say, actually than Horseshoe Bay Beach, but nice, again, chill vibe, another restaurant, bar, great place to enjoy a room. We haven't seen all of St. George yet, but we've come to the conclusion that overall it's a much more slower paced lifestyle than it is over in Hamilton, but it's a cool city. I mean, there's a lot of cool things to uh, see and do and uh, it's similar in pricing. So if you can pack a cooler to bring lunch and beers, it's probably better because you'll be paying eight bucks a beer if you go to this place right up here which sells food and drinks. this huge hill as you can probably tell because we're drenched in sweat to make it up to Fort St. Catharines and of course we forgot to check what time it closed so we're here right outside in the parking lot but we do have the drones so we're gonna get some overhead footage since we can't actually get into the gate 
Uh, but a little bit about this place is it used to be a coastal artillery fort and now it's a museum. So it's had quite the transformation Tuesday. Let's take a look what it looks like from above. our day in St. George. We were able to hit a few of the hot spots, but there's definitely more to see. So if you have the time, definitely take it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I,